Hello, hello, hello. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good, and His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, good morning, saints. Good morning, people of God. Hallelujah. Today we will be praying prayers for a broken heart. And one of the first steps to healing is to forgive. And I know and understand how hard forgiving people can be. For some people it's easy to let a lot of things go. But um, sometimes there are like deeper hurts and deeper wounds. And you have to heal those wounds. We also still have to constantly forgive people, even on the most painful things that people can do to you. Hallelujah. Sometimes people feel like, well, if I forgive, that means that I'm saying it's okay. No, what you're doing is you're putting it in God's hands. When you let go, you release yourself. And you allow God to deal with the situation, the person, what have you. Allow God to make a judgment. But you keep your heart clean and pure before the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, let's stay in a place of forgiving others. And never allow for unforgiveness to settle deep within our souls, no matter how painful our situation is. Let's not allow it to stop us, block us, block our blessings. Let's not allow it to fester in our hearts that it makes us hateful, revengeful. Let's forgive those even people who some consider unforgivable must still walk in a heart of forgiveness like our Heavenly Father says. Forgive each other. Because as the Lord says, He's forgiven us. How much, how many things we have. Even the person who feels that they haven't done as much or as evil as someone else still walk in a state of forgiveness if someone did something even more horrific or terrible to you. Still walk in forgiveness because that's what the Father requires of us. Hallelujah. Remember his word says vengeance is his. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Dear Father, hallelujah, we have been struggling to forgive, to let things go at times, Father. Sometimes people have did so much dirt, so we've gone through so much hurt with people and situations, Lord God, and we just get tired. Sometimes we want things to be very peaceful and loving. We, we just want to experience a loving and peaceful zone. You know, we don't always want people to, every time we look around, people to do us wrong or set us up or backstab us and betray us, Lord God. Give us a heart that is willing to forgive the same way Jesus forgave those who even murdered him. Change our hearts, Lord, and help us to care more about obeying you than we do about holding on to anything that has been done to us. Help us to forgive completely and from our hearts, Lord. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation and uphold your generous spirit, Father. Heal our hearts and fill us with joy again. You know we lost our joy 
There are many times we have lost our joy being hurt and, and upset with what someone has done to us. Lord God, fill us again with joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Father, Father. Sometimes we lose our joy because of the things that happen to us, but we have forgiven the people who hurt us. Father, we need you to restore our joy, our hurts. Heal our hurts. Restore us the joy of our salvation. <clears throat> Sometimes we feel some people have set traps for us right when we were doing nothing but being helpful and loving and kind. And people set traps and snares for us because they want to see our downfall. Or how many times, it, and, and they have their own ill wishes or ill thoughts of us. If we're trying to help and do good and walk in love, their mindsets will be all off and they'll think oh we're trying to do better than and they get in a state of competition or sometimes we try to do nothing but help people help people and the people we think that we're closest to we find out they don't feel the same way sometimes we think someone is close to us and near and dear to our hearts and they don't feel the same way toward us help us to forgive those people Lord God people who we thought there was a trust level a level of trust and they broken that trust by even telling our enemies our hurts even laughing at our hurts Lord God even mocking our hurts, Father. Help us to forgive those who do those type of things. Those who mock us and talk about us and point fingers at us and want to see our downfall. Those we thought were friends who became enemies. Help us to forgive, Lord God, totally within our hearts. Restore to us the joy of our salvation, Father. You said in your word we're not supposed to put our confidence in people. We can't fully put our confidence and trust in people. Yes, there are times when we have some people we trust to a certain degree. But also, we cannot have like this idea that people will never mess up or people will never do any wrong because people will disappoint us people will reject us people will laugh and mock at us they did that to Jesus even when he walked down the road of, road to, of Gethsemane when he held his cross they laughed and mocked him some of them he was already hurt while he was already, he's already been um, beaten with lashes and whips. And they, and instead of anyone caring and trying to help, what they do, they laughed and mocked him and scorned him. And they threw things at him and stomped on him and punched him and beat him to add to more of the cruelty that was already done. To add to more of the injustice. And sometimes we find ourselves in that state. Maybe not physically, but psychologically, emotionally, spiritually. We're already wounded. And our friends laugh at our wounds. Our friends mock us. Job said in his word, you guys are, he, basically I'm at living. <laughs> He's saying you guys are horrible encouragers like when Job was down at his worst his friends were looking for his sins oh maybe you've sinned all this good stuff happened to you and you've been having it good this far you know how people talk about you and then the minute they see something go bad in your life they think that you've sinned they think that you've done something to deserve it 
So then they start laughing and talking about you. Or they'll, if they don't laugh, they'll talk about you. Ha, huh, look what happened to them. They're not so good after all. They're, you're not so holy after all. You're not so righteous after all. You're not so good. Like the minute. Or my favorite one. Oh, if you see this in the spirit, you know, prophets mocking other prophets. If you see this in the spirit and you know this, and you can say all this that you see in other people, why can't you see yourself? That's a spirit of mocking because it's trying to stop you from speaking what the Lord has told you. What thus said the Lord. That's a spirit operating. That's why the Lord said we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and wickedness and high places. We have to know when a spirit is operating through someone. So we have to forgive those people as well, because they don't know what they're doing. Because if they really knew what they were doing, and if they really, if their hearts were pricked by the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit even talked to them, for that moment, if they even seek God's face about certain situations, they wouldn't say the things that they're saying. And this can be people who are spiritual leaders and people who call themselves prophets as well. So Father, even within the body of Christ, even on our jobs, even within our families, Lord God, when people backstab us and laugh at us and mock us, Restore us the joy of our salvation. Help us not to walk grieved, Lord God, in our spirits because we're so disappointed by people who we thought we could count on, by people we feel like we called our friends, by people we feel we could have embraced, people we have embraced very close to us, people we feel we loved, people we felt that had our backs, people we felt we supported them with so much good and poured so much love into them and we've never did anything wrong to them. As far as we know, we've never done anything wrong to them. All we did was love them and be their friend and they treated our friendship like trash that could be thrown in the, in the trash can. They treated, that's how they treated our friendship, and we thought we were close. Return to us the joy of our salvation, Father. Hold us with your generous spirit. Strengthen and help us, Lord. Put a bounce back in our step, a smile on our face, and a dance back into our feet. Father, how many of us have allowed these things to destroy our hope and our our smile because we just knew that person cared about us just as much as we did about them the word says that when you see a brother fall we're supposed to pray for them because when we pray for each other we pray for good good things to happen and we pray and sometimes we pray for them maybe god will give us an understanding but people are so excited to see something bad happened to you when they know you've been good to them because they want to feel better about being evil to you help us Lord help us Lord they want to feel better about being evil to you so they go out of their way to let everybody know oh look I see a speck in this person who has done absolutely nothing but poured love into me. But they don't want to say that. They want to see something bad so they can feel better about being bad. So then they can say, see, ha, huh? I knew all along. That's how people can be sometimes. But Lord God, we don't put our confidence in people. We don't put our full trust in people. You know, we don't put people in a place where we think they will never do wrong to us. They will never backstab us. We have to stop thinking like that. Maybe every now and then someone will find some good friends like that. But still, even the best friends that you think you can count on, you still never in your life think 
that people will not do you wrong. I don't know how many times, this hasn't happened to me, but how many women I have spoken to, and I don't even know, you know, how many men this happened to, because I believe it happens to everyone, one of us, no matter male or female. But in my own experiences, I've known many women who have had a best friend um, cheat with their husband or someone they call themselves being a friend to cheat with their husband. I even knew a woman whose bridesmaid, one of her bridesmaids, I don't know what happened in their marriage. I don't. She said it wasn't any cheating going on. But as soon as that marriage was over, that bridesmaid married. The bridesmaid that went to her wedding married her husband. Or her ex. Because, you know, women will then say, oh, well, that's her ex now. And, and it's justifiable. They at least waited until the, the marriage was over. But it was very quickly and very soon. So even if it wasn't, let's say there wasn't an affair, what kind of conversations were going on that they end up getting married immediately? So that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes you think the people who are nearest and dearest to you, they'll do some backstabbing things. And we have to get a bounce back. A bounce back, even from those deeper wounds, we have to get a bounce back. We cannot allow those things to cripple us, to stagnate us, to set us back. We have to push forward with everything and give God the hurt and pain and say, God, heal these deep wounds, heal this pain. This was my friend. This was my best friend. This was someone I loved. This is someone I adored. This is someone I thought we were on the same page. And they were behind my back. A whole nother person. And many of us, some of us, we may get a spirit of revenge. We may do some other things. Who knows? But God don't want us to respond in such a negative way because it will hurt us while those people go on being happy. And then how many times people think that you've done wrong. You probably backstabbed someone. And even if you did it, sometimes people think you did when you did it. When your intentions were pure, people think your intentions are evil. So sometimes there are hurts and perceived hurts on our end. So let's walk in a spirit of forgiveness. Father, restore our joy. Restore the joy of our salvation. Uphold us with your generous spirit. Strengthen us, Lord God, and keep that bounce back in us. Help us, Father. Help us to rejoice again. For this is your will for us. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We give you praise. We give you praise. Fill us with your grace, which is sufficient for us. Make your strength perfect in our weakness, Lord. Your grace, your supernatural, undeserved favor and help is available for us now, Father. We are your children. Be willing and, and ready to help us, Father. We know that you are eager to help us. That's why we're laying this on your feet. Help us to get through our days, Lord God. We thank you for your strength and grace. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with fresh oil, Lord God, on today. Restore to us, Lord God, our hearts, our minds, our souls, our spirits. Fill us with your grace. Make your strength perfect in our weakness. We know that we can be weak, Lord God, in and of ourselves. But your Holy Spirit, who raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in us. So rise us up, Lord. Take our weakness away and fill us with your strength. Order our steps, Lord God, in your word. 
Help us to stay within your Holy Spirit. Flow. Help us to flow with the Holy Ghost. Help us to abide in Jesus. Where there is fullness of joy. Sometimes some of us have been sad and discouraged far too long. Even if it's for a day. But some of us have been hurt for years. And sometimes we've allowed people to keep coming back into our life. Sometimes it's good to pray to God and ask God about people being in our lives. But sometimes we've allowed people who constantly, forgiveness isn't necessarily you always have to constantly have a person in your life. Sometimes people can be in your life and sometimes you have to not allow people to keep being in your life. Especially those who keep having a heart and a spirit to continue to hurt you. And do you wrong? At a certain point, you have to realize that it's abuse. It's mentally, emotionally, psychologically. And some, some people have physically abused us. Some people verbally abuse us, verbally attack us, attack our character. They use our hurts as weapons against us. They use what we tell them in private as a weapon against us. So we have to understand that is unhealthy. That's not something a friend or that's not someone that we need to attach ourselves to. Whether they're friends or whomever. If you see someone's constantly being abusive, then you have to know when to allow them to let go. To let them go. You show us the path of life in your presence. Fullness and joy at your right hand are pleasures evermore. Hallelujah. We love your presence, Lord. Your presence. Holy Spirit, you know, that song, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place. Come fill us, Lord, in the atmosphere. Your glory, Lord, is what our heart longs for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How beautiful is that name. How beautiful is our Savior. How beautiful is the God of all creation. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Fill us with your joy. Forgive us, Father, even of our sins. As we're working on, Lord God, and giving this to you, Lord God, forgive us of our sins as well. Forgive us for any and all wrongdoings that we have done, Lord God. And Lord, let us be as loving and forgiving and kind as you are, Father. Forgive our enemies, forgive our friends, forgive our family members, forgive our acquaintances, forgive our boss, forgive our co-workers, Lord God. Forgive those strangers, Lord God. Forgive, forgive those strangers that might push us when they're walking, like they're in such a hurry, they don't see us. Or when they're driving down the street and they cut us and we feel like we almost got into an accident. Lord God, we forgive them too. We forgive every single person. We don't walk in a spirit of anger. We walk in a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Abide in me and I abide in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May we abide in our heavenly Father. We abide in his love. We abide in you, Lord God. Help us to abide in Jesus each and every day. Help us to set our mind and keep it set on the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Help us to keep our mind stayed on you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We keep our mind 
our hearts and our minds stayed on Jesus. We keep our hearts and mind stayed on the promises of God. We keep our heart and mind stayed on the word of God. We keep our hearts and mind, hallelujah, stayed on our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us to cast away down every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ and keep our eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. The author and the finisher of our faith. Help us, Lord God, to be aware of your presence all day, all day long, every day, today and every day, in this day forward, Lord God. Help us to think about Jesus all day long. We're not going to think about those things people do. We're not going to meditate on them. We cast them down, Jesus. We will not repeat them. We will not rehearse them. We will not talk about it. We will not even give it life. Because the word says life and death are in the power of the tongue. So we won't give ill will things that people have done to us. We will not even give it life. No. No. What we will meditate on and speak about are the promises of God. Hallelujah. We will talk about our joy. We will talk about how God turned everything around for our good. Hallelujah. 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 We praise God. He said, no weapons formed against us will prosper. And every tongue which rises against us in judgment, he'll condemn. We don't have anything to worry about because God will deal with it. All we have to do is put it on the feet of Jesus. Pray about it, but don't worry about it. Pray about it and live your life. And God will deal and handle your enemies and those who have set themselves against you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Like Jesus, help us to say what you say and do what you do and to keep the commandments in all things. Because he said to love Hallelujah, your Lord, the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul and mind. And to love you, love others as you love yourself. As you love yourself. So that means to even love yourself. A lot of times people say, oh, you know, they love others, but they don't love themselves. And then they end up being servants and serving. And it's nothing wrong with serving and giving. But they never replenish themselves. They give, 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 and give themselves out. And they're all spit and no one's pouring back into them. So love yourself as well. Know your limits. Set your boundaries. Love doesn't mean have no boundaries. Love yourself. And you still have boundaries. And those who love you back, they will respect your boundaries. Hallelujah. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Lord God. Hide us under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress us, from our deadly enemies who surround us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So when we find ourselves crying into the Lord and we are under stress and we're feeling helpless and broken, know that we can go under the wings of our Lord and Savior. He who stays in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And, and know that God has you under his wings. He hides us from the world while he looks around and keep watch over our life. As we hide in him, as we abide in him, spending time with him. So as we keep our eyes on Jesus and think about how he covers us. No matter what's happening outside of us, remember, no matter what's going on around us, and who's, no matter who's doing what, God is in control of even that thing. Like he said, hallelujah, 
all things work together for the good of those who are in Christ Jesus. All things. And that's what we have to believe. All things are working out for us. God's turning some things around. He's restoring us. He's keeping us. Hallelujah. He gives us peace. When our hearts is broken, you probably feel the need to rest for rest, peace, and protection. And our Heavenly Father will give it to us. love that scripture under his wings we shall take refuge when you're under God's wings and when you're praying and you're spending time in the presence of the Lord remember that is the place of safety being close to him when things are going wrong being closer even being close to him when things are, are not going wrong and they're right it's nothing like having peace in his presence is nothing like having that rest, that spiritual rest, that spiritual protection and supernatural protection. Lord God, we need you all the time, every hour, every moment, every second. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us under your wings, Lord God. And we shut out oppressive thoughts. Father, those thoughts that try to overtake us, Father, help us in situations that we are facing. Help us to be aware of only your presence. We purposely shut out these oppressive thoughts, these evil thoughts, and these thoughts of the things that are going on. But Lord God, in moments when we are feeling weak, Father, we ask that you lift us up, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you lift us up and help us, Lord God, to cast down these imaginations. We ask you, God, to take away all nightmares in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to help us not to replay and, and spiral out of control in our thought life, Lord God, but to gain control, Father, to keep on purpose good things in our hearts and our minds, Lord God. Because you said to keep our God, our hearts and minds, Lord God, because out of it um, flows the issues of life. And if we're not guarding our minds, then it gets in our heart. And when it gets in our heart, the next thing you know, we're living it out. And Lord God, the only thing we want to live out, hallelujah, is your promises, Lord God. Your word, Lord God. We want to live out, hallelujah, a fruitful life in all areas of our life, Lord God. Hallelujah. May your people not be stagnant. May none of us walk in stagnation. We are your children, Father. Father, help us to sense the warm and safety that only you provide. Holy Spirit, fill us with your peace and comfort. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As in David cried out, Created me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Hallelujah. Remove, re, re, create in us a clean heart and leave a happy spirit, a bright spirit, a bright heart, a clean heart, a pure heart within us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not, like the, the, the word says, uh, in Psalms 23, though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. And sometimes when we're going through, we feel like we're walking in the shadow of death. We feel like we're walking in the valley of death. When we're broken, when things are dark around us, how do you, the pain can feel so bad at times. That even the light inside of us feel like it is darkened. But we will allow the things that happen outside of us to change the inside of us. Hallelujah. You are a God of restoration. Jesus, we're walking in your light. And when we cry out to you, Lord God, in time of need, you fill us again with your spirit. 
Restore our hope and give us a clean and new heart. And take away the old heart, Father. The heart which has been broken, scarred, and battled wound. And give us a fresh heart. A new heart. Give us a bright and strong. A heart of endurance. A heart that's fortified. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. A heart full of light and love of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, create in us a clean heart. Continue to renew us and take away our brokenness. Thank you, Jesus. And fill us with your spirit. May we walk in spiritual strength, Lord. Ooh, may we walk in spiritual strength. We thank you for the bounce back spirit. We thank you ahead of time. We thank you, Lord God, for strengthening us. Reach deeper in us than we can reach. And heal us, Lord God, in the deepest of all wounds. Even the mother and father wounds. The wounds of childhood. The wounds that have not been healed. The wounds that have been festering in our hearts. The wounds of being abused. The wounds of being raped and molested. The wounds of being beaten, Lord God. The wounds of being kidnapped of, of whatever traumatic experience anyone has under the sound of my voice who has experienced. Heal us, Father, in those deeper areas that try to hide in a corner somewhere in the dark. Take it out of us, Father. We want to be healed of those very things, hallelujah, that have tried to leave scars and that have left scars, Lord God. But we are healed, hallelujah, by the precious blood of Jesus. We receive and catch our healing on today. Reach deeper in us, Lord God, the crevices of our heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Try us and know our anxieties. And see if there is any wicked way in us that lead us in a way of everlasting. See if there is any brokenness in us, Lord God. Hallelujah, that will try to lead us, Lord God, astray from you. Everything, Lord God, that will try, Lord God, to, to take away the life that you have given us. That will try to take away the joy that you have given us. Lord God, that will try to take away the blessings that you are trying to bestow on us, Lord God. Let everything be healed within us, Lord God. That may, we may receive everything that you have for us. Because sometimes our brokenness... Well, even there's a part of us trying to help protect ourselves that will probably even block blessings. You said not to be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. Lord God, let us not allow this world to shape and mold us, not to shape and mold our hearts, not to shape and mold our brokenness. The things that have happened to us in this world by people who do not love God, by people who do love God, by people in our families, by people outside, by people everywhere we meet, by people, human, the human experience in general, Lord God. Help us to heal from everything. God, search our hearts because you know it. And help us in places and ways that we cannot reach. Reveal causes and effects of inner hurts, sins that we never knew where it was or how it was or why it happened. In behavioral patterns that we don't understand. Lord God. You alone know us very well and enough to get to the root of all issues that we are facing. 
Help us, Lord God. In, the, in all the causes of the roots, Lord God, to uplift all those things and heal us in those areas. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. To heal us in all of those areas, Lord God. Only God can truly hear, heal us from a broken heart. We can lay it at God's feet. And we can feel God restore us. And sometimes we have to keep going at his feet until we totally release it. We have to release it. Lord God, help us to release it quickly. For some of us, it, it's stages in healing. It's stages in um, forgiving people and letting things go. Some people forgive little by little, you know, because they're hurting so bad. But we won't hold on to that hurt. We won't hold on to the brokenness, Lord God. We will not hold on to it. We will give it to you. We will fully give it to you. As a matter of fact, we fully let it go right now in Jesus' name. By faith, we fully forgive. By faith, we fully heal. We are healed. By his stripes, by faith, hallelujah, God is reaching to the inner crevices of our heart and to the root cause of our issues, and he's healing us. Father, try us in our thoughts and anxieties and see if there's any wicked thing in us. Reach deeper into us that we, we couldn't reach. Because we know, Father, that you are our healer. You're the healer of our hearts and our souls and our minds. So we give God, hallelujah, all the praise and glory for healing our broken hearts on today. For restoring us and giving us strength. We give you praise, Lord God, on today. If there's anyone... Who wants to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior on today? Repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I repent of my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again on the third day. Forgive me of my sins, Lord God. I want to trust and follow you. I want to give my life to you. Holy, I am yours. I surrender my will. I surrender my life to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come into my heart and come into my mind and restore, Lord God, to me. Hallelujah. Your spirit. I accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Know that the angels are rejoicing. They are happy that you've given your life to Christ. And may you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Read God's word every day. Deny sin every day. Every day, every moment within a day. Open your heart to Jesus every day. Read your word and pray to him every day. And watch that you become stronger and stronger in him. Spiritually, emotionally, you will be stronger in the spirit, stronger in Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom hallelujah, of heaven. God loves us. He loves us all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And everyone, I love you. We know that Jesus loves you more. Have a blessed day, everyone.